I've just come across an article on the BBC that says that lack of sleep costs the UK economy £40 billion each year. Now, the accountant in me wonders how that figure is calculated. But even if it's ten times wrong, even if it's only £4 billion a year, that's an awful lot of money going down the drain simply because people can't get a good night's sleep. That is putting a figure on what is a more fundamental problem because the article goes on to talk about the extent to which lack of sleep leads to ill health. Lack of sleep, I suspect, actually directly leads to dementia in later life or is one of the contributory factors. And lack of sleep through ill health leads to premature death. So if you're not getting a good night's sleep, you're actually slowly killing yourself. Now I say you are doing it to yourself because generally speaking lack of sleep is down to the state of mind we're in during the day just coming to an end before we get into bed and the state of mind we're in as we actually fall asleep and indeed the state of my mind we might be in when we wake at four in the morning with our heads racing. You and only you can control your state of mind so you had better do something about it. Certainly, no prizes for guessing what I'm about to say, meditation will ensure that we get to grips with our own state of mind during the course of the day. But meditation turns us on. It doesn't turn us off. And therefore meditation, last thing at night, is probably the wrong thing to do if you want to get a good night's sleep. I have recommended to my clients over the last dozen years or so an exercise called recapitulation. Recap for short. A lot of people say to me I can't remember the longer word. Basically what that is is a bit of mental housekeeping before you go to sleep at night. Because when we do go to sleep at night it is our 70,000 churning thoughts in our head that gradually switch off and our subconscious mind comes to the surface. During the early phase of sleep, the subconscious mind goes about a routine to process all the unprocessed data from the day just ended. And that's why very often in the early phase of sleep, we might have dreams related to things that had actually happened or we had come across during the course of the day just ended. Our brains are limited in terms of their processing capacity and therefore a lot of information comes in through our five senses every day that remains unprocessed by the time our head hits the pillow. And therefore the subconscious mind has to go through that routine. But if you were to recapitulate before you go to bed, you'd effectively be wiping the slate clean for the day just ended before you go to sleep and a clean mind will sleep an awful lot better. What is recapitulation? Well, it is effectively running through the day just ended in the third person, as if you were looking at yourself uh, as a third person rather than looking at the events of the day just ended out through your own eyes. So in other words, you might consider that you would be looking at yourself on something like a security camera or on reality television where you'd been followed around for the day by somebody with a handheld camera. And basically what you do is simply run through the day watching the video as a disinterested observer. You know, like the way you'd be having a pint in a bar with Sky Sports on in the background and you'd be half looking at it. That's what you do in this case. You don't judge what's going on in the video of you going about what you were doing during the day just ended. You don't pause the video at any stage to, you know, judge what you've done or say to yourself, I wish I'd done that better or I wish I hadn't said that or my God, could I not be more impressive? You don't do any of that. You simply regard the video as a casual disinterested observer and when you get to the point in the video just before you sat down in your chair to do this exercise before you got into bed you simply use your imaginary remote control and click the video off. What you will have done by running through that process is you will have allowed your subconscious mind to do its housekeeping before you go to bed and you will, I guarantee it, get a better night's sleep. The number of people who have said to me that recapitulation enables them sleep better amazes me. 
what amazes me more is that recently somebody said to me, when I recapitulate before I go to bed, I get a wonderful night's sleep, much better than the nights I don't do it. Figure that out for yourself.